All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Part 10. Day 10. We've made it to double digits, and the game is going really well so far. I absolutely love it. I'm recording this almost, it's, it's like, I don't remember if it's four or five, but like four or five days ahead of time because I just, I need more. I love it so much. So let's get into it. Apparently we got some food left for us again. Good. Gumbo. Every day with the max health. Thank you. And it gave us full stamina. Love it. Uh, is that supposed to be zombie kid? Teenager? More gumbo. Thank you. All my homies love gumbo. Alright. There we go. Nice. Very good. Okay. I think I'm just going to go guns blazing with the shotgun today. And, uh... Do I just use this up, I guess? Fully auto magic. That sounds so good. But that feels like sending it today might be a waste. There's something happened with ramparts with the radio when I turned it on. Lantern's lit. Oh boy. Casey's still good? Okay. <sighs> okay. See what's going on with the lantern. That's creepy how she sneaks into our bus and gives us food. Like she can see us sleeping from where she gets to. That's cool. Go ahead and read it if you want to. Pause if you want to. The intel you've been gathering for me has been enlightening to say the least. Georgia is planning on a mass exile in the very near future. Many lives are going to be at risk. I have a few things to discuss with you. I know we were going to try to avoid the face-to-face, -face, but the plan I'm formulating warrants it. I appreciate your ear. Meet me in the same spot as the first time. Churchyard. Thanks for all you're doing. May. Alright, looks like we're going back to the churchyard, but that should not that should only be one or two zombie kills, if I remember correctly. There's definitely going to be one right here. Maybe two. It's been one, sometimes it's been two sometimes, right around this corner. Just one again. Okay. Get in there. I don't understand why it's so bad at actually getting in the guy's head sometimes. There we go. All right, hold up. Got like a hair in my mouth there. Okay. All right, Sammy's hand, you're excellent. Thank you. All right, May, another face to face, huh? I think I saw a zombie there for a second. Yo. Hey, Torst. I'll get right to the point. After looking over the intel you brought me. Seems like Georgia is planning to toss out a large number of people real soon. A lot of lives are going to be in jeopardy. Good news is we have some hope. The map you scored shows a safe way out of Nola. Just need to buy some time and some space to organize exiles on a large scale. Get them ready to move. I think the reserve is going to provide the opening I need. Georgia and the tower are so obsessed with it, don't think they'll be concerned with what I'm doing for a short while. And with the Reclaim salivating over it, too, once the reserve is unlocked and revealed to the world, courtesy of you, there's going to be a bloodbath. You can count on that. And that's when I make my move. Window won't be open long, though. It'll be tight. I gotta take the chance. Okay. Sounds risky, but go for it. Sounds like this is the opportunity you've been waiting for. I think you should go for it. Thanks for the support, tourist. It helps. Especially when the mind is working out so many what-ifs. I will leave the key to the reserve in the drop spot for you. Lantern will be on when it's there. When the shit goes down for the reserve, if you're thinking it's all too much and you want out, come find us. The Exodus could use someone with your particular set of talents. <laughs> my hope is you won't be a fool, but my mind suspects you'll be too hooked on that damn reserve pipe dream just like everybody else. All I can do is wish you good luck and good judgment, tourist. What can I say? Take care of yourself. 
I am too. I am too hooked on the reserve pipe dream. All right. Travel the rampart. Well, we know exactly what we're doing today, don't we? And uh, that is going to be. That's going to be tough. It really, really is. I'm going to start walking so I'm not burning st maximum stamina here. Rampart is. Um, I. I remember like kind of what it looks like I, I don't know how to navigate it whatsoever uh i don't think i ever knew how to navigate it just because it's so unbelievably big um so don't worry about me remembering how to navigate it because i 100 percent don't but i do remember it's a high school and i remembered loving it my first time through it's not just a high school either it's like a whole high school campus with a gym and everything yeah it's yeah it's going to be really tough um, to fit in one day. We probably won't be able to pull it off fitting it all in one day. But I want to try, but we only have one walker entered. Like, I can only hang out with the horde for so long, you know? Yeah, there's no more here either. Okay, we have the beignet for when our stam max stamina goes down, and then we can increase our stamina regen from there. We have bandages for injuries. Um, if we're gonna take up the inventory slot anyway, let's use the better. Let's take the better thing with us. There, in case we ever get really hurt, takes care of major wounds, health seventy-five instead of forty. This is the oh my god, we need we need to heal button, basically. Okay. Okay. I'd love to do ramparts all in one go. In fact, just in case it gets a little dicey, we'll bring another one of those. Wish me luck. Hopefully we find some walker entrance in the moment so I can use some horde time, but basically what I'm thinking is we sprint, go, 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 go. No time for safety or looking around too much. Definitely no cabinets. This map is enormous, and if we're going to clear this in one day, which we probably won't, but that's the goal. If we clear this in one day, it's because we went fast. No hurt in the shallows. Memorial Lane, extra loot. Bastion, food cache. No hurt in Bywater. No hurt in Rampart would be sick. <sighs> Damn it. No hurt in Rampart would be insane, but oh well. Here we go. All right. Here we go. This is it. This is a huge day. I love this map, and we are going to try to blitz through it as fast as possible. We have a beignet for max stamina regen and temporary regen after we eat it. Go. Go, go, go. Check it, take a look at this map. Come on. Okay, we're right next to the gym. That's good. Look how big this is. Look how little progress we're making on this map as we sprint. That's how big this thing is. And this school is two stories tall, truly. Like, not just a, not just showing two stories tall, it's actually two stories tall. Okay. Okay. I remember we need to get in through here. At least I think so. This is the gym, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and not fall here, because that would kill us if we fall at the wrong time. Pretty sure. Okay. Oh my god, it's way too dark. Samity's hand out, ready to go. Sprint. Okay, zombie right there, true. Wow, that was, like, instant. What did I just pick up? Armory inventory, okay. I think I picked up a letter that I missed. Shit. Okay, really quick. Really quick. I need to find this letter. Mat 
dearest Korean. No, not that one. I lied to you. I am sorry. I had to spare you. A lost hope. Our children died by my hand. I had to set them free to protect Casey with the goddamn wine. There it is. I'm about to put my fist through his teeth. We did what we had to do. Live with it. End the story. How the fuck that bean pole made it through basic is behind me. Soft as a melted fucking marshmallow. Different story with Kenny. I respect the guy, but that doesn't mean he gets a pass. The questioning has to stop. We had to protect what was rightfully ours. This bunker is our home. The supplies are our lifeline. If we did not defend it, we'd have all been dead within two weeks. Now we can last months, maybe longer. We can survive this. A brutal decision was made, but we have to fucking stand by it, unified. If Kenny and Casey don't fall in line soon, I have no problem marching them out of the bunker door with a gun to the back of their heads. Oh, I barely saw this one. Okay. Basketball, yep. Yeah. Wasn't about to let those bastards steal all our shit. It's dog eat fucking dog now, and I'm the mama pit bull. Foster and Trin understand what's up when you go through something like that together. Something that ugly but necessary. You develop a bond to the group, no doubt. The other two, fuck them. Ooh, I jumped. Ooh. Casey acting like he's innocent. Bunch of bullshit. And Kenny with his moral high horse routine, not gonna put up with it much longer. I'm watching. They so much as blow a fucking fart in my direction. Where? I'll put their asses down. I was gonna say, I can't even see the zombies. Only the ruthless will survive this shit. Oh my god, there's so many. It's an endless amount. Alright, that door. Lock, right? Yeah, okay. Thought I remembered that. Uh. 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 Here. Okay. We go down here. How did a zombie get in here? What? Oh my god, you're kidding me right now with that. Get in his head! What is going on with that? I'm not understanding why that's happening. Sanity's hand, not as good as I was hoping, because sometimes it just doesn't go... In. What? No, now we can make it. Nice. I'm a good person. I know I am. Well, I saved my cousin Billy that one time from blowing off his fingers. All the other kids dared him to hold that M80 and light it. And I said no, Billy, even though I really wanted to see what would happen. What happened in <laughs> the bunker, Jess says we did the right thing. Foster says it too, so that means we did the right thing. I didn't do anything wrong. Us or them, and we chose us. I'd do it again, probably. So that man was right, right? When you can right. look back on something and know that you would do it the same way all over again, that's deja vu, I think. Something happens, you say, you know, that's the way I'd do it a second time. Deja oh, vu. Shit. That's how I know I did the right thing. That's, that's how you know you did the right thing, buddy. Okay, where am I going? Wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. School's this way. Here's the school. Okay. Come on. It's jamming a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's not in great condition, is it? Okay. Here's the school. Oh my good god, is it dark. Okay, bathroom. Uh, okay. Dead end, okay. Dude, what is this place? How is it this dark? Ooh. 
Ooh, hell yeah. Hello. Two things I wanted to see. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Looting's going okay. We're still over three quarters of our time, which is good. We're making good time. We gotta keep this up, though. This thing's almost done. I'm not gonna reload it again. Okay. Dude, this place is so dark all the time. Like, what? Okay, wood. Take that. Couldn't help it. Come on. <laughs> what? Okay. Man, I was struggling with that. Okay, there's something important in here. I see the purple. A key. Hidden room key. We'll figure out what the hidden room is later. Okay, thank you. And now we're backtracking. Okay. That one beignet might not be enough stamina regen, actually. We'll, we'll see. We're back to this room. Using a gun is speeding things up a little bit, obviously. Art room of sorts, okay. I'm moving slow just because it's too dark to see. Score. Okay, we got the angel for the ramparts. Okay, that's it. We need to leave back out the way we can. Is that really a dead end, dead end? Like there's no other way through? No, you can keep going. There you are. Okay. Pwnbot? Nice. Okay. Is this another exit? No. It's not. Oh, person. Okay. Let me close that. Hey, what's up? Oh, didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. Are you Kenneth? Is your name Kenneth? I yeah. How do you know my name? Casey sent me. Casey asked me to look for you. It literally said Casey sent He's me. That's alive. amazing. In the bunker. He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? That's good to hear. I didn't give him much chance, honestly. Thought he'd have blown his brains out by now. Or shriveled away to nothing. Let's go quick, big boy. I underestimated him. If you make it back to him, tell him these few things for me. Tell him he's a good guy. The guilt... It's not his. Tell him to let it all go. Okay. What happened at the bunker? He needs to wipe his brain clean. Tell him Kenneth said things right. Killed Trent, Jess, and then Foster. Okay? You need to write it down or something? No, I got it. I'll remember. I'll remember everything. Don't worry. But I am curious. What happened at the bunker? Fuck it. I've got nothing to hide. We killed dozens of innocent people. Civilians trying to, to get into the bunker. When all the shit with the dead walking started to go down, we had orders to keep everyone out of the bunker. I, I don't know why. It, it didn't make any sense. But when it got too tense, we, we freaked. We mowed them down. Ooh. Vietnam style shit. Oh Casey my god. just stood there. Like a ghost. It, that fuck Foster started screaming at him to open fire with the rest of us. Later, I asked Casey if, if he fired. 
he he said that he pulled the trigger because he, he was scared that that it, that if he didn't, we would all turn on him. Damn. Add his body to the pile. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. I believed him. He begged me not to tell the others. He didn't trust them. But he trusted me. We were friends. Listen, my brain is it's it's, it's getting foggy. I'm, I'm saying shit. I, I, I don't know how many words I got left. You can wrap it up. Me. Please. I'll tell Casey we spoke. I've heard enough, Kenneth. I'll tell Casey we spoke. Tell him everything you wanted him to know. That's mighty nice of you, Uncle Tommy. Before you go to the bowling alley, blow my fucking brains out, yeah? Okay. That's the only way to remain human all the way to the end. All right, right? my man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. That's a messed up situation. Casey said he shot up, though. So, I guess Casey didn't kill anybody, possibly? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, that pillow really wanted to be in my hand. This music! Is, is this an exit? No? Yes, it is. Don't you dare. I'm trying to explore this whole school today. Oh, hell yes. Oh, I thought that was a dragon bar. No, it's a sticker on the table. What are those sounds? That sounded like an elephant. What the hell? God, it's so dark. So unbelievably dark. This is to the kitchen or whatever? Yeah, okay. Um. We got no time to search in depth, but I'll look around for a quick second. I don't need a dog biscuit, thank you. Dude, what are those sounds? Sure, I'll take a pop tower for now. That might be the best we find. Dragon bar, hell yeah. Okay, we got two, three shots left with this pistol before we just leave it. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Good, good. Nurse's office. We were supposed to go here for something. Don't ask me what it was for. No? Nothing? Nothing. There we go. Fourth and pain crafting unlocked. Okay. We're almost halfway through. Don't loot cabinets. Don't loot cabinets. You're gonna get caught. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, we can't go out that way. What? I guess we're going out through the cafeteria and then what? Gotta go to the other side. Other side of the building. Okay, hold up. Eat the beignet. There we go. Okay. There's gonna be crap out here, I'm sure. Oh my god, yeah. There it goes. One more shot. Whew, okay. That's the gym still. This is the side we're trying to get to. <laughs> Guy right there. Wow, a lot of people set up over here, actually. Actually, is that worth four workable metal? It is. Okay. 
There's a lot of people here. Or there were a lot of people here, I should say. Yeah, hello. Okay. Okay, there's a door in. There's also a cache here. Oh, that's the medical cache, isn't it? Eh, we'll take that. Whatever. Um... Antiseptics and sugar, sure. Broken shotgun, sure. Okay. Alright. That's our halfway marker. Maybe this side of the school looks a little less dark. So far. Get in there. Okay. Which way are we going first? Teacher lounge? Okay, those are just bathrooms. Don't need to go in the bathrooms. Maybe we do. Maybe there's hidden rooms in the bathrooms. Hold up. Nope. No. Okay. Dude, what is that sound? You hear that, right? It sounds like an elephant. Maybe it doesn't sound like an elephant to you, but you know what I'm talking about. Here's a way in. Yeah. Nope, stop, come back. Okay. Cool keyboard galore if you wanted some keyboards. What's over here though? Did we miss anything? Principal's office? Okay. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm, I'm really, I'm really trying to go as fast as we can here. Okay. That doesn't even damage the fire axe, actually. There's nothing in here. Not a thing. Why did I come in here? Really? Okay. It seemed like a lot to break down for nothing. Alright though, fine. If there's nothing, there's nothing. Move on. Room 102. Looks like there's nothing really here. Okay. Zombie coming? Yep. Okay. That's where we came in. That's the door we took. This is blocked, correct? No, there is a way this way. Band teacher's room. Okay. It's supposed to be band teacher, right? We had a note on band teacher? Make good time, make good time, make good time. We're making it happen. There we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Are you kidding me? Rubble of Old Town. One, two, three, four. You bitches. You bastards. That's just mean. Okay. Alright. Okay. This is the other way around that barricade? Yep, okay. Uh, room 101. Anything in here? No. Okay. That's a lot of propane tanks. Dangerous. Okay, just just a room. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, that's another exit, and that's a door out. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're doing good. We can actually see up here, amazingly. Oh, it's beautiful being able to see. Just beautiful. 102, I thought we already saw room 102. What is that red glow? Is there a pwn bot in there? Like, what am I looking at? What? What is this red glow? Give me the adhesives. What? 
That's so weird. That is super weird, but okay, sure. Making time, making time. Okay, that's a way through the barricade there. Could have gone in the school this way, it looks like. I'm actually really happy with how well we're doing so far. I really am. Science lab. Uh, let's see, let's see. Anything, anything, anything. Whoa! I'm gonna take one, just because that's a lot of antiseptic. Yes, ammo in the science lab, of course. Of course! Of course there's ammo in the science lab. Why wouldn't there be? Library. Okay. Let's keep it up. Keep it up. We're doing good. We're making good time. Another elephant. Okay. Rip the librarian. She had a nice little defendable corner too. Good on her. Just didn't work out for her as well. I'm shocked at the level of zombies we're finding, and by that I mean how few we're finding, but I'm, I'm absolutely here for it. Okay. So far, so good. How's our backpack doing? Well, we have three spots left, so we're doing great at finding stuff we want. In 105. Oh. Uh, anything here? A bandage, I guess. We could take that, maybe. Since we're nearing the end of our journey and we're not full inventory yet. Okay, that's blocked off, obviously. Okay, another side thing we can get into. Bathroom stuff. That's not a bathroom. <laughs> this is not a bathroom. Yep, go ahead and squeak away, mouse. Yeah, this is real f This is real weird. Where did all the zombies go? I'm absolutely here for it, but where'd they go? But they can go ahead and stay away for all I care. Hello? Worn bolt action rifle. Nice. Good find. What is. Uh, no, that, that looks pretty sketchy. Okay. Here's the other side of the hallway, the exit. And I went into all this. Did we explore everything? Did we get everything? We got a key. We got a code. I feel like I missed stuff. This place is just so big, it's easy to do, you know? Yeah, we're not supposed to be in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Administration? What? How do we get in there? Oh, yeah, that way. Okay. Well, we've seen it all. I think. Is there anything we missed? Anything at all that we missed? One quarter of our time left. We're doing fantastic time. Oh, no, that, this will there we go. Uh, that was a little ugly, but we got it. All the zombies are outside, okay. Um, maybe we did get everything. We got a recipe for Fork and Pain. We got a recipe for Time Bombs. We got a safe code for Old Town. We got a key for something 
hidden safe room. The only thing I can think of is that bookcase. There we go. Yeah, I think we're good. Then I'll stop using Samity's hand so I can recycle it for eight metal. I think I think we did it. No way. We had to move so fast to pull that off, but I think we did it. All of Rampart? Really? How did we do that? How did we do that? We still have time to go check out this, like, parking area. Oh, my game froze for a second. That was not good. Jesus Christ. Let's have the fire axe out. How about? No, you know what? Shotgun time. Jesus, they're everywhere. We went from having no zombies to a ton of zombies. How does it get darker when I get inside? What? We gotta get through to the other side here. Yeah, if the parking lot was through here, we could go. Yeah, our max stamina definitely took a hit today. Fair enough. I can't believe we have time to just go add on the parking lot. We're actually going to explore all of Rampart in one day. I'm so proud of us. Wow. Tell me this map wasn't super cool also. I love the whole feel of it. It could be because I'm a teacher in real life, so it's... You know what I mean? Like, I've thought about, at least here and there, like all guys do, zombie apocalypse, what would I do? And of course, I've had that thought at school. And I'm like, what would I do if I had a zombie apocalypse at my school? I'm assuming that's a more normal thought. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Does that go around? Oh my god, it's one of these again. Some of these doors do not like to open or stay open. Okay. Yeah, I think we got it. Oh my god, we did it. With one inventory space that we're about to fill up with this. And voila! A perfect rampart trip, I think. Watch us miss one thing, and then we gotta come back for one thing. Wouldn't that suck? Wow. All I can say is well done us, honestly. I, I'm feeling so good about what we accomplished here. Wow. Wow. I am, we didn't even need innards. We just crushed it. By non-stop sprinting. Using the beignet and all that. And just making it count. Whoa. All right, then. That is, that is, that is crazy. I can't believe how well that went. It wasn't quite as big as I remembered. But that's a big map. I mean, I realized we didn't open, like, any cabinets the whole time we were there. And we still didn't finish it by much, but... If you tried opening cabinets, it would take so much longer. But yeah, damn. That is surprising. Hopefully we got the adhesive and the workable metal we were looking for. Okay, Casey's ready to talk. We didn't need the egg timers at all. Explosive timers, I mean. That's our eighth of nine statues. Hey, hey, things are going good. Real good. 
See, okay, I'll show you the bolt action rifle how it works. So, for the one shot here, you have it here, shoot, and you have to. You have to, like. <laughs> okay, it needs another bullet in there, apparently. Here. Like that. <laughs> yeah, there's no way, right? No way in hell it's happening. No, that's not happening. So, we're going to scrap that. The bolt action is so bad. The lever action, I was surprised, was not nearly as bad. I kind of summed them both up as the same thing, but they're definitely not. The lever action was at least usable. I still didn't like it that much, but it was usable. But yeah. Lever action, bolt action though, completely unusable in my opinion. That's right, we grabbed that chemistry jar thing. Yeah. Whoops. There we go. All right. Mission accomplished. We're looking good. And I believe we should have the final gear station upgrade. Yes! And there it is. On day 10, we have every upgrade possible. Other than the, you know, the secret hidden ones. Yeah, so we already have four of those. We don't need to make more. Uh, bandage. Fourth and pain. That's really cool. Build one of those. More weapons to try out. You already have a Nova, yeah. Okay, mystery guns there. Hidden safe room memorial. That's the yeah the hidden safe room key that we have for memorial lane. Okay. Burnt down. I still don't know what that one's referencing. Hopefully Bastion, because we haven't been there yet. And I honestly don't remember what Bastion is at all. Band teacher, we have the code. That's Old Town. Right, right, right. And I don't know what that is a reference to at all. But hey, hey, look at this. Oh my god. Wait a minute. I'm sorry, what? What? Are you seeing this? American Steel. <laughs> Did we just make something called that with that labeled on it? Dude, this is sick. Oh, sorry. I want to try decapitating zombies with this. That sounds fantastic. And then this is our melee weapon now, so hold up. Forgot I'm supposed to go scrap this for eight workable metal and stuff. Because it's really good to scrap when it's almost broken. Fourth and pain. Our new melee weapon there. And, uh... Need to scrap this too. Yeah. It's Nova time. Time for a real shotgun. Oh yeah. Absolutely. And then the grass cutter. Fuck. Yes, I love the description. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll leave the fire axe here, maybe, kind of like as a decoration, and if we ever need wood or sharp objects, it's right there. Oh my god, yes. That's fantastic. We are looking so well equipped now, at this point. That's still in decent condition. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, Casey. You are talking to a decked out tourist right now. What do you got? You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? Found Kenneth. I found Kenneth. You did? Is he still alive? No. No. He's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. Shit. Rest in peace, Kenny. My friend. What did he tell you? Message for you. He wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? 
Guilt's not yours. You said you're a good guy. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it. From his perspective. But I am curious about yours. Well, if he told you what happened, why do you need to hear it from me? You know what you need to know, right? And you've told me my friend is dead, so... We can move on. Yeah? So, um... All right. I know it must be hard, Casey, to talk about it. But it's okay. Tell me what happened. Yeah, you're right, tourist. It's not easy for me. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians, right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there, a coward. And now I don't sleep. I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a ten-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? Those are just facts, Casey. Those are just facts, Casey. Oh my god, I, I nailed it. I'm, I am one with the tourists right now. What I need right to know is your perspective on the whole thing. There's a reason why you can't sleep. You're twitching like a junkie, and your chest feels like it's caving in. Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk. Just give me a second to, to gather my thoughts. It's all fucking foggy. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she was, she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me, like he expected me to have his back. But I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Ugh, the sounds. A hat. A cross. Man. Sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking on the trigger of my rifle. Even though I haven't touched the thing since the day it happened. A cross. A cross? Like in a church? What's that all about? Yeah. It's fucking strange, tourist. I see it. Real close up. Everything around it is hazy. Bullets chewing it up. Splintering the wood. It's from my church back home. The one my mom used to drag me to. You know, but... That makes no sense. Well, it's just my mind fucking with me. Guilt digging in deep, I guess. Fearing judgment. There's no way the reserve isn't close to the church. I mean, he has us doing flow pump regulators in the churchyard. If it's not in the church, it's at least, like, right next to the church, right? You would think. There's no way. The sounds. What do you hear when the sounds come? The sound of terror. Please. The gunfire. My own shouts. The thump of bodies hitting the floor. This this cacophony will just swell up inside my head when I least expect it. This chaos. But I can still pick out every single fucking sound. I just can't shake it. The trigger. The feel of the trigger. Did you pull it? Yeah. I didn't want to, but I did. Basic training kicked in. Follow orders no matter what. But I don't know if I killed anyone. I, I may have. Thing is, I'll, I'll never know. Maybe that's worse than actually knowing for certain that I did. A hat. You mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man. Shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and skull. Damn. Damn. And this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it, it, it hung there for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. 
the image. I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking, was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? Probably not if you shot into the rafters, but I mean, 100% sure, dude, you never will be. You'll never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, Tourist. And I can't fucking deal with that. The world is fucked up. We've all piled up regrets. Impossible not to when the world is this fucked up. What sets the good man apart from the evil one is how you live beyond the regret. Do you make better decisions moving forward? I have to. I can't live with myself otherwise. I have to be better. You will be. Then you will be. Simple as that. If you say so. Look, tourist, this little chat, it's worn me the fuck out. And I've got rewiring to do to keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later, I guess. Good night, Casey. Okay. Tell Casey about the key. Guess I'll do that in the morning. He's struggling, obviously. Alright, so... That is a perfect end to day 10. I can't believe how much we crushed Ramparts there. I really hope we got everything. I hope I didn't miss anything. It's always possible, but I'm hoping everything went just right. We crushed it out. Very happy with how it went, if we did get everything. And, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey with the tourists and the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. And we'll see all of you next time.